Hi guys and girls, uh, this is a bit of a different video. This is a review of all these different hardware wall wallets for the cryptocurrency storage, safety storage, I should say. Yeah, welcome to the video uh, and yeah, stay tuned to the very end because I've got a really cool little announcement that I'm going to be doing something that you are going to enjoy really, really soon. Okay, so let's jump right in. I've got a couple of different hardware wallets. And one question I often get asked is, so I've got all this cryptocurrency, Mitch, and I want to protect it. What should I use? There's so many different products on the market, and I'm just not sure which one to purchase or which one is the best one that's possible that you can buy. Now, recently, the company Ledger had their internal customer database stolen. And I don't know about you, if you own a Ledger, you have probably got emails, text messages, telling you that your BTC has been stolen and you have to click this link really, really quickly or to confirm it or to stop it. And then it's a phishing scam where they uh, take more information from you and then uh, potentially steal your crypto. So uh, I'm not so much a fan of them at the moment, um, but I will go through and review that. Uh, there'll be links to purchase everything below this video if you do want to purchase one of these. So the Ledger Nano S was the very first Ledger uh, product and it's super simple, it's pretty pretty small uh, and a lot of people use these and love them. So um, you plug it in, you get to choose, There's a, it's a very simple menu. Um, this one isn't actually charged up. So, because uh, I, don't, I don't use these, I don't really like the Ledgers and not just because of what I said a moment ago about them being hacked but I just never have found them to be uh, a, a device that I really like. So very similar to use, that's one of the most common uh, hardware wallets that people have. Um, then they decided to do a sort of tablet version and I pre-ordered this uh, very early on and it took ages to arrive. And it's kind of cool, like it's a little bit wanky and it's a bit clunky and it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, but it also has very small amount of memory. So you can see here on the box, it shows you Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then Ripple and a couple of others. So you can store something like 30 plus different uh, cryptocurrencies on this. But one, the battery is really low, uh, really, really bad. Uh, and two, the memory is so small on it that you can only install like three or four of these different wallets at a time before it, uh, it starts to fill up. So I haven't used this one as a wallet that I store stuff in, it's literally just been uh, purchased and, and kept as a kind of, not a memento, but a something that I, I may use in the future. Then we've got the Ledger Nano X. Uh, you can tell this one's been used um, multiple times by me because it's still shrink wrapped. This is their latest version or one of their later versions, um, which has Bluetooth capability. Now, the one thing that I will say about having something that's Bluetooth connectable is it opens you up to to be able to have that hacked, which is somewhat of a concern. Uh, so these are generally like the kind of low end of the market type wallets. They work quite well. People get and use them quite broadly. And uh, a lot of people I know have them. I'm not really a fan of them. I've always used the Trezors uh, as my primary wallets and in uh, having having the tr having Ledger been hacked recently, it's kind of turned me off them a little bit. So then we've got um, so then I'll jump into the Trezor devices. So this is their very first uh, device that Trezor created. Again, it's two buttons, very very simple, very very easy to use, and it, I've been using it for probably three or four years now. So it's it's the one that I really really like. Uh, when they ended up doing a version 2, the Model X, I think it's called, I ended up buying it and uh, um, thinking that it was going to be the next best thing, touchscreen, all of that stuff. But I tend to not really use this one. I, I like my first two. Um, I've got some different holdings on, on different ones and I store them in different locations. These are just dummy ones that I have lying around the house that, are, that aren't being used. So... Uh, the Trezor's very easy to use, very simple interfaces, and 
the one negative that I can give you about a Trezor is you constantly need to update them to be able to use them. A lot of times, uh, if they sit in cold storage for 3, 6, 12 months or more, um, you need to have the backup seat with you in order to update them in case everything wipes and you're completely stuck. So that's the one negative about about trezors. Uh, I haven't actually had that experience with Ledger because I haven't used them for long periods of time, but I'm guessing it's probably the same. So then you've got kind of a different type of device. Then we've got the EliPal, uh, which you can see the branding is just there. Uh, and this is, this is a really cool piece of tech. Uh, this is probably my second favorite after the Trezor and my absolute favorite is the very last one. Uh, this is what's called an air gap device. So there's an app that you have on your phone and when you, uh, when you want to send cryptocurrency, you have to confirm it on this device. It doesn't connect to your phone. You have to like scan, uh, cause it's got a camera on the back. You scan the QR code and then it asks you to, to confirm on here and then you scan it again and then it will actually send it. So it's a way it's called an air gap device. It physically never connects to a network. Um, you can charge it, obviously, uh, but it is completely separate from your computer, whereas these are actually connected to your computer. These are all connected to your computer as well as the Ledger Blue. So this is um, what, what I'm going to say is one of the cheaper sides of an air gapped device. And then we move into something like the Turbo Vault. So this has to be my absolute favorite device because it makes you feel like you're a bit of a spy. And it's all metal, um, it's all dust proof, and from memory it's somewhat data, uh, waterproof. I'll put the full stats on the screen for this one. Building a hardware crypto wallet as secure as Cobalt Vault has never been done before. And central to Cobalt Vault's groundbreaking design was our philosophy that security begins with prevention. We saw that vulnerabilities existed before you even received your wallet. They can be easily hacked in the supply chain or even by just plugging it into your computer. So, this is why we've created Cobalt Vault. It's the world's most secure cold storage wallet with military-grade security. In fact, on Cobalt Vault, there's no physical point of attack. We've removed any USB ports, and instead, the transactions are done through a dynamic QR code to prevent man-in-the-middle attacks. Even firmware updates are done by inserting a TF card. We've also added a few layers of security to prevent your private key from falling into the wrong hands. When you first receive your Cobalt Vault, you are required to authenticate the device on our website. This ensures that Cobalt Vault's encryption chip, which stores your key, wasn't tampered with in the supply chain. But now, say that someone stole your hardware wallet and attempts to extract your private key using a circuit hack after forcing open the device. A self-destruct mechanism is triggered, wiping your device so that no one except yourself gets access to your private key. We've also made Cobalt Vault extremely durable. The body itself is made of a waterproof IP68 certified aluminum enclosure. The case is the world's first impact resistant wallet. But we didn't stop there. We've even accounted for preventing battery corrosion. The battery is magnetically detachable and stored in the case separate from the body. So if the battery corrodes, the body itself is safe from harm. The level of detail we put into designing and developing Cobalt Vault is really groundbreaking. This is the first time the world has been introduced to a truly secure wallet. And we've designed it for those of us that can't afford to take risks with our cryptocurrency investments. So just pop it open and the device slides out like that and the battery slides out as well and this is just for safekeeping this this uh case here and you pop it in like that 
And again, like the Ellie Pal, it's kind of like a little mini tablet. It's got a, a camera on the back. It's air gapped to your device. And whenever you want to send or receive cryptocurrency, it's very easy to send to this. You don't actually need to have it with you. Like you can stick it in a vault or um, safety deposit box. But whenever you're scanning or sending off this, you scan the device off, off your phone, or you scan the address, I should say, the address you want to send it to. Then you scan and confirm. You have to put in your password as well as a PIN, as well as um, the new one has a fingerprint scanner, which is multi-layered security. And then uh, it will ask you to confirm, and then you have to scan another thing and confirm, and uh, you, you're ready to send the tra or make the transaction live. So it's very, very secure. It's fully air gapped. There's no physical USB uh, connections to this at all. The only way you update it is there's a little SD card in here that you, you update and it will just copy that onto the, the system's memory. Uh, it also stores a number of different cryptocurrencies. I'll put it up on the screen right now, all the different cryptocurrencies that it stores. And it's just a sexy little thing. Like it is, it is made out of this like metal. It's, it's, it's heavy. It's got weight to it. Whereas the, the Ellie Pal is kind of, kind of light and doesn't really feel like you want to store a lot of stuff in it. Whereas this kind of feels like something the CIA or James Bond would carry around. And then you've got this super cool storage device, which, uh, you can put in your vault or your safe and, uh, just overall it's a beautiful piece of engineering um, and then you've got how you store your backup seed which is really really cool so this is waterproof fireproof and it comes with a lot of little tiny little letters and numbers and you literally unscrew all of this and put your backup seed keys into here and here and again, this is waterproof and fireproof and very cool looking. So on the scale of cheapest to most expensive, the Trezors and the Legend Nano S are on the cheap side. Uh, the new Nano X and so these, this is kind of how the pricing goes. The Legend Blue is kind of on the same uh, sort of pricing as the LilyPal. And then your Kobo Vault is your, I just want to buy the most expensive thing and be 100% covered by security. Uh, there's links below to every single one of these. And uh, yeah, my recommendation, what I like the most is is this. It's, it's sleek, the security is next level and it's very very cool and it stores a lot of different cryptocurrencies as well so um that's that's pretty much it for this video i wanted to just take some time and do a bit of review because uh i haven't actually done one of these type of reviews before and i constantly get asked there's so many different brands on the market there's so many different cryptocurrency wallets what do i buy mitch so this is my answer and let's just start uh, cut for a second and go to a word from our sponsors you've got the ability to uh, put your crypto to work with BlockFi and earn up to 8.6 percent per annum with your interest account now if you sign up today uh, you get two, up to a 250 dollars crypto bonus with a deposit of 25 dollars or more this is really cool. If you're wanting to earn some uh, some interest on your cryptocurrency or just get some more crypto, uh, this is a great way to do this. I also mentioned if you are looking to, to borrow against your cryptocurrency, they allow you to do that. They charge you a very low interest rate of 4.5%. They will lend up to 50% of your cryptocurrency. So if you've got $10,000, they will lend you up to $5,000 at a 4.5% interest rate, which is essentially in Australia, what you are paying uh, for a mortgage for a house, which is just absolutely crazy. And the loan is for 12 months. Uh, they're also backed by some of the biggest names in cryptocurrency, Morgan Creek, Capital Management, Coinbase Ventures, uh, Galaxy Digital, the Winklevoss Capital, um, and a few other ones that I can't pronounce. <laughs> if you've liked this video, 
or um, if you have any questions for me, please comment below. Um, be sure to hit the thumbs up button uh, as many times as you can. It really helps with the algorithm. And, uh, and leave me a comment if you have any questions or any suggestions on how I can make these videos better. Um, I'm all ears. So leave your comments below.